in this illustration we'll analyze another pulley system here you can see the figure shows all surfaces are smooth and we are required to find the acceleration of 20 kg block if it is released from rest here let us first distribute the tensions and write the constraint relations by observation here you can see in this picture we'll first analyze the tensions in a string Say if in this string tension is T, then throughout the string as being considered light and frictionless tension remains same. So here as the pulley is light, this tension must be 2T as the forces in both sides must be zero. Similarly, here the tension can be taken as 4T. Now, if we consider that 10 kg block is going down with acceleration A, this pulley will go down with acceleration A, and as it is fixed on other side, this pulley will come down with acceleration 2A, and again as the string is fixed over here, this string will be pulled by acceleration twice that of this pulley, that is 4A, so we can write this 20 kg block is moving with acceleration 4A. If you are not comfortable in developing these constraint relations, I advise you to go through all the concept videos of constraint relations to understand it. Let's write down the equations of the blocks to analyze it. So we can write equation of motion for blocks. Here we can write for this 20 kg block, the only force on it is T. So we can write T is equals to 20 multiplied by 4A. Say this is our first equation. For 10 kg block downward, its weight is acting and upward, the tension in a string on it is 4T. So we can write this as 10G, that is 100 minus 4T is equals to 10A. Say this is our second equation. Now to solve it, we need to eliminate T and get the value of A. So we multiply it with the 4 and we add the two equations. So here you can see 40 and 40 gets cancelled out on left hand side. This will be 100 and on right hand side it is 80 multiplied by 4 is 320 plus 10 this 330A. So on simplifying, we are getting the acceleration as the zero gets cancelled out and this 10 by 33 meter per second square. So the value of acceleration is this, we can directly write the acceleration of 10 kg block, which is A that is 10 by 33 meter per second square. And acceleration of 20 kg block here we can write as 4A that is 40 by 33 meter per second square. So these are the final results of this problem.